they have been the kind of guy who does this kind of thing, never really ever reacts to, say, a PV or something like that. But this is a special occasion, this is Mob Psycho 100. I was just like, holy crap, when it came out, I was like, I want to see what Bones can do. And Base Bones has finally kind of given us, like, some hope that it actually might be adapted pretty damn well. Like, I never was, like, against the idea of Bones adapting something else by one. I mean, Madhouse is probably the king of doing it, because we saw it in One Punch Man. But, again, Bones is their own kind of thing. Bones is that kind of company that's like, yeah, we can do, we can one-up people. And I think, for the most part, we're safe. Like, with the sense that this actual PV is actually showing us what the animation's like. And... It looks like a, it looks like a mixture of bones and trigger. Like I don't know where I'm getting some trigger vibes in it. I was kind of like, eh, this actually reminds me of some some work by Trigger, but it didn't look like out of the ordinary. It kind of looked different. It's like you see, it didn't have like that One Punch Man kind of feel. Like in the sense, you can't really just like go, oh yeah, it's the same as One Punch Man. It's the like, exact same aesthetic style. No, it's completely different. So you can actually just rule out any idea that you can probably say, oh well, One Punch Man did it better because. It's got a different aesthetic style. And I think the aesthetic style itself is actually pretty interesting. The most, I think, the thing most I'm interested about, besides the actual story itself and the, anim and the anime itself, is the fact of the aesthetic style. I mean, it's quite, it's quite, it's got quite a lot of dark lines. It's got very, very drawn aesthetic style to it, and it looks pretty damn cool. Like I was like, I was like bones, I'm doing it. I mean, we saw it with Concrete Revolution. They're, they're 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 exploring different avenues of different styles they can actually do. Yeah, they still got this. They still got the ideal style, like they have their style, but they're going to different avenues, and I think that's actually quite good for the company, and I think, I mean, I wasn't complaining, because they did Norogami Arigato, we all know, if you're looking for, besides Madhouse, okay, <laughs> besides Madhouse, if you're looking for a company or studio who can actually do freaking action, besides Sunrise as well, you got to look at Bones, Bones can do it freaking damn well, like their frames and their action looks freaking phenomenal, like it hasn't even faltered in any way, shape or form, I mean if you watch Kekai Sensen, you probably realise they can do a lot with the budget they have, yeah, it kind of got a bit too much and I had to like cut this last episode into like four months later, but still, the reason is still there. And even the director who's actually doing this, who's pen penning the actual anime itself, actually worked on Death Billions by Madhouse. So we're getting another person who's left Madhouse to work for Bones. It's kind of it's a bit strange. I was like, oh, look, I know that guy. He's actually, he did Death Billions, or Death Parade, if you want to call it that. But for the most part, god damn it, I must say, Motorcycle 100 has got me hyped. Like, Probably at most, at the most of the animes besides Concrete Revolution coming next season that I can actually remember off my head, this is probably the most hype just for the sole reason it's literally the anime done by, done by one, and everyone knows how one, how cool one is. I mean, yeah, Madhouse, you might have a bit of competition on your hands because this looks like it's going to be freaking down well animated. Oh my god, it has a, such a great art style. But anyway, with all that said, a happy new driver. If you want to leave a like, leave a like, leave a sub, do leave a sub. It does help me quite a bit. With all that said, a happy new driver. And I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.